Oh, I love work, getting out here, working in the early mornings. It's so fresh, and you know it's going to be hot. It'll be back in the 90s today. We did have one day of 84, 85 degrees, which was a relief. No rain. It's very, very dry in Idaho. Uh, most of the rains have been extremely light. Today I thought I'd try to catch up on picking some vegetables and I've decided that uh, I had to do it because my squash was getting way too big and old so I went ahead and uh, picked some some cucumbers and and squash and now I'm picking green beans now I just started so I don't have a lot of green beans picked yet but I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of them uh, before I get to the end of my row this is a 65 foot row so uh, it should do okay tomatoes are way behind they were really late my corn has suffered because of my water system I was using a Harbor Freight hose. Folks, walk away from Harbor Freight hoses. I don't know, you may have one that works fine. Maybe you laid it down, you have never picked it up, moved it around, and maybe it's worked for you, but mine collapsed and twisted and it was a real problem because it wasn't getting enough water through it, which meant that my garden was suffering. So this year is going to be probably one of the worst years I've ever had of gardening here in seven years. Just because of my supply hose was twisted. It was twisted in a way to where I couldn't untwist it. It would not reform into a round hose. So now um, I'm still going to have a harvest it's just not going to be very good at all. Green beans, you know, do, do not take a lot of water. And it does seem to be doing better because I bought two new hoses from True Value. And yes, they were expensive at $54 a piece. Yeah, I'm choking on that too. But they were high quality and they I'm getting a full three-quarter inch uh, of water to uh, my garden now and uh, Barton said maybe maybe we ought to shut off the valve going down to the uh, berry garden and then water this upper garden the northern garden with all the veggies water it where uh, he said he started mentioning all the things that we've added to our garden and I realized you know I think he's right We've really added a lot to our garden this year, trying to expand. Down on the berry garden, that we've added grapes. We added a, a raised bed and then a vertical fence for uh, climbing vines. And then in this garden, uh, we've uh, extended our vertical fence and we've planted uh, uh, quite a few things. Plus, I've added about 25 feet of garden just for potatoes. Well, eventually it's not going to be potatoes there because it's going to become my blackberry uh, row. I'm going to have two blackberry rows. After a bonus year of blackberries this year, I'm starting to wonder, do I really want to have a double row of blackberries my god in one picking we did 35 pounds of blackberries <laughs> so got a lot to rethink expanding is smart unless there's a better way to do it okay I better get back to work I have a lot of green beans to pick. Talk to you later. Well, I'm done picking the green beans. 
and I was surprised. I've learned a lesson here, folks, and uh, I guess I'll have to do it again to really confirm uh, my theory. I planted the corn on the west side of the green beans, or you could say I planted the green beans on the east side of the corn. What does that mean? Sun comes up on the east side, I get I get almost a half a day of sun here on these green beans. And then as it gets in the afternoon, the corn is going to shade the green beans. I have never had such tender plants and such tender green beans. My wife has been complaining, and uh, rightfully so. My green beans have had a real strong string on these green beans and I can them anyhow but when you're eating them you gotta kind of spit out the strings right you been there well these are large green beans same seed blue lake bush beans same seeds in fact of it is they've got some age to them but they've come up, and I'm telling you, uh, for some reason, the green beans and the green bean plants are extremely tender. There's there's no string. Now, I didn't genetically alter them not to have strings. But I'm thinking that giving them the second half of the day in shade may just be the ticket to get these green beans to be tender without the strong string. Now my thinking, and I may be wrong, my thinking that genetically these things have the string in it and it has something to do with the survival method, or I think it kicks into survival and that string is going to help this bean uh, survive. It toughens up the pod and it toughens up by putting this string through there. I'm not sure if that's correct or not. I'm just thinking, folks, out of the box. But I'm going to try this again the next time that I do string beans, uh, not string beans, but uh, bush beans, and plant it on the east side of corn and see if that doesn't make a big difference. So... Now I'm going to go turn on the water and get this thing watered better, which it needs. And just to give you an idea, this is a 65 foot row, and yes, there's space in between my green bean plants. So it's not a full 65, but take a look at this. So that's a, you know, you could say 55 feet of of green beans I'm just guessing I don't I didn't measure it but this is like the third picking now I've only done about a third of a bucket before but this time it's almost a complete five gallon bucket so I think uh, they're doing pretty good and they're just so tender Let's see if I can snap them off let's see I snapped that off and I'm eating it and there's no string and this was a very long green bean all right I better go do my watering talk to you later well my first canner of green beans is done I will be picking more and I'll probably be canning more but it's nice to know that the first five gallons of green beans is preserved and cooling down. I'm going to cover them up and I'm going to get to going on my squash.